I'm very happy and I'm very great to serve to our customer and also I appreciate that our customer always give us the chance try different kind of food, never got a brand, always got to be, you know, support us. So that point is I want to strive to do my best. I want to do pretty simple menu and let people try different kind of cuisine. So we need to set up the soup, salad, appetizer, entry, and dessert is including different countries. The idea for that put together. Even though sometimes empty, sometimes just two table, I'm, but I still very happy to serve we are customer. The point is not make really make money, just just let people know about more Chinese culture. So Greg, you say that Han 202 is number one in your book. Tell us why you chose it. I chose it because I randomly was hap happened to be in Bridgeport one day and I saw it driving down the street and I said that's a weird place for a restaurant. Uh, looked online and found out about it and went and I just think for the value and the quality of food it's pretty much unmatched. Now for many people including myself Chinese food is a comfort food. Um, what makes Han 202 different here? It's different because it's a prefix menu. It's $25 for a meal. You get five courses. You get a soup salad, appetizer, entree, and a dessert. There's two selections for the soup, three different selections for the salad, I think five or six different appetizer selections, and then with the entrees, there's uh, maybe about six or seven different entrees. So there's some seafood, some pork, you know, some duck. There's something for everybody at this place. It's also BYO, um, which makes it a great place to go with a large group because it, you don't have a large uh, wine or beer expense when you eat. So, Erica, how was your experience at Han Tua Were you surprised? I was surprised. I have been to Bridgeport, Bridgeport a million times and never knew it was there. So I couldn't believe just the location. And I had an incredible time. Like, the food is amazing. I am not a Chinese food lover by any means. My husband is, and he, like, so we, we had a good balance of him knowing, like, the true Chinese flavors and me being like, I could take it or leave it. But the the combination of the fusion. It's different. No, Perfect. Okay. Explain the fusion aspect so of the Chinese food. It's got a little bit of like a, I'd say like modern French flair to it. Mm -hmm. So it's really like crisp and clean flavors and it's plated beautifully. Like even the dishes, like there was like a the little bowl my ice cream was served in. I was like, mm -hmm. yes. can I have this? Yeah. Like I would like to take this home with me. Everything beginning to end was just incredible. Elaine, big fan of Chinese food? Yes, I am. What'd you but think? this was a wonderful, pleasant experience. Uh, if I hadn't known about it through Check Please, I never would go there. It's 27 miles from our home, and we are going back. <laughs> it was wonderful. All right, looks like we have a hit on our hands. So, Greg, am I going to find, like, my favorite dishes here at Han 202? Well, there won't be, like, egg foo young or, <laughs> you know, shrimp fried rice, nothing like that. It's a bit more upscale. Um, one of my favorite dishes is the green apple and beef salad. Oh my god, it was it's, so good. I always get it and, and it's, it's perfect, it's a perfect combination. I would have never thought to have done it myself and I cook all the time, but I really just enjoy it and the crisp of the, the crispness of the, of the apple with the combination of the beef is so good. And uh, for my entree, I had a duck and a sweet chili sauce. It was a perfect amount of uh, spice to it and also sweetness and perfectly uh, prepared duck. It was great. And I had the same salad. I also had just a plain arugula with black truffle mm -hmm. and shaved parmesan. So simple, but unbelievable. Like they, everything, they, even like down to the little detail, they really, really took it the whole nine yards. I mean, we had the creme brulee, which is a little bit different, a little bit more soupy, but everything, like everything was unbelievable. I had uh, monkfish with black bean sauce presented, as Erica said, just beautifully. The plates were gorgeous. For dessert, I had tr chocolate truffle to die for. Something you would never expect to get at a restaurant. Yeah, a good value? Oh, absolutely. And the service, the, the women were absolutely wonderful. 
every waitress that stopped by was so pleasing in asking if we needed anything. Uh, we brought our own wine. They brought a container. They put it in. My daughter was in from Kansas City. She mm -hmm. brought her beer. May I ask what wine you brought? We bought um, a Cabernet. That's what my husband likes. So the reason why I asked about your the wine selection you made is because Asian food, Chinese food in particular, it's very difficult to pair because you know there's so many different levels of spices and proteins and ways of cooking. And so you know I generally like to recommend sort of like light, crisp, fruity white wines mm -hmm. like Riesling, Chenin Blanc, Sauvignon Blancs. And then for reds, I really think you know just kind of keeping it fruity and light. You know, like a Beaujolais is really good. Pinot Noir is great. Also, if you're going to go a little aggressive, Syrah is good too. So. So if you're to return to Han 202, who'd you take this time? I actually have two reservations already booked. <laughs> okay. So I've got, um, I'm taking some family members and also taking some really good friends of ours. And that's the only thing is they don't seat large groups. So you have to keep it small. So that's why we have two separate reservations, okay. even though we could all go at the same time. Yes. Um, but definitely going back. So Elaine, how did you find the atmosphere to be? Oh, it was wonderful. It was very relaxing and kind of intimate. And on one side, there was... Uh, a bench with really comfortable pillows, right, Greg? That was really nice. It's more like a living room or like mm -hmm. a, a great room. The, the dining room chairs are just very comfortable. Like I could fall asleep after eating there. <laughs> and the bench, like she said, with the pillows is so great. I love being uh, stuck in the back by the bench. It's absolutely gorgeous. Who do you recommend this restaurant to when you talk about it? I, I usually tell my single guy friends to take girls there on dates because you can bring a, a great <laughs> bottle of wine, your favorite bottle of wine that you like. And uh, the caliber of the food is such that where the girl won't really care that it's only $25. She won't think you're, she won't think you're a cheapskate or, you know, ch trying to save money. She'll think you just bought it there because it's a great atmosphere. And the food's really good. All right. Well, Greg, you pick Han 202. Sum it up for us. I think Han's a great place to go for a great meal if you're really on a budget crunch and if you like to drink great wine. All right. Elaine? A hidden gem in Bridgeport. All right, Erica. Absolutely incredible. I think every Chicagoan needs to drive down to Bridgeport. All right. Well, you can try the tasting menu for yourself at Han 202, 605 West 31st Street, 312-949-1314. They're open for dinner Tuesday through Sunday. Reservations are accepted. Alcohol is BYOB, and the average tab per person is $30. Mm -hmm.